Well, I guess I've become the unofficial food taster of the Undo's Upper Ohio Valley Italian Heritage Festival, at least on the 7 News side, because earlier I brought you what's new in the world of food, but of course, after dinner comes dessert. We talk a lot about the traditions that have been popular here at the festival, and inside Little Italy is one that's really gained popularity over the last couple of years, and that is, of course, the Italian bakery. Now, we have gelato here. We have things like lemonade you could use as a sweet treat afterward, but all of these cookies in the Italian bakery that you're looking at are handmade. There's thousands of them for the weekend. You can buy them to take home or they are making pizzelles live when you order them. And this recipe, it's pretty special. It's made with ing ingredients from Italy. It's been handed down for generations. So I guess you could say they've perfected it. But if the pizzelles aren't your thing, they have other cookies that you can try. Everything's homemade. Everything is has an Italian origin. We have uh, cannoli. Uh, we have uh, pizzelles. We do have chocolate chip for kids, things like that. We do have, um, uh, let's see, white chocolate chip, brown chocolate chip. We have golette, which is Italian waffle cookie. Now, if you are looking for the bakery, it is in Little Italy, which is by West Banco Arena. It's actually one of the closest booths to the arena. It's right near the stage that's in Little Italy as well, just to help you find your way to those delicious cookies. Still plenty more to see here at the Undo's Upper Ohio Valley Italian Heritage Festival. We'll be with you through the rest of our 5 o'clock show and also at 6 o'clock. But if you want to plan a trip down here and need more information, we've got it all for you at WTRF.com, so be sure to stay with us. Live again at Heritage Port. I'm Catherine Guyon, working for you. Thank you, Catherine. What